Welcome to the level three grill coaching session on calculations. In this session, we will be discussing how to determine how much parent stock is needed to create the water leaf scroll assembly to the upset corner. In the last video, we measured the final forged dimensions for the leaf scroll assembly and the total of the larger scroll piece. You may have di different measurements on your drawing, but they should be close to what you see here. You will be making four of these scrolls the same size using your measurements as a guide. The next step is to determine the starting point on the parent stock to ensure that your result matches up to your measurements. The leaf scroll assembly will require a test piece. To create a test piece, start with a length of bar with a known measurement greater than three inches. Make your initial taper and then start spreading your leaf from the tip back until you have three inches. Measure and subtract that from your initial measurement and that's how much you need to make your leaf. In my world, I get two and three eighths. Do the same for the scroll. Although this growth and length factor isn't as important as you are going to create this end on a long bar and then measure your bar with the scroll portion already started. On your longer bar, create the scroll blank to the final forge length, but do not scroll. Set your center punch marks in place for the end of that scroll, the welding allowance, and the parent stock allowance for your water leaf. With the center punch marks in place, blow back the tip of the leaf and bend to 90 degrees. Then cut off your bar, create your taper on the end, and flatten your leaf. You're gonna make two with the scroll pointing to the right and two with the scroll pointing to the left. Let's proceed to calculations for the large tapered scroll. We know that the leaf assembly will be welded onto the larger stock with the upset corners in place. We are looking for the length needed on the parent stock that dictates where to start the upset corner. You know that the amount of metal you start with is the amount of metal you end with. It has just been forged to a different shape. Therefore, you can use the volume formula by setting the end volume or the forged volume equal to the parent stock or starting volume. The volume formula is height times width times length. I will be using an F for the forge dimension and a small s for the starting calculation of the parent stock and create the formula using those notations. Since the starting and ending widths of our scroll are the same and will cancel each other out since they are set equal to each other, we can eliminate them now. This creates an area cal calculation, leaving only four variables in our equation. I'm going to start plugging in numbers to this formula. We are looking for the length of the starting or parent stock, which is this variable LS. We know already that the height of our parent stock is one half inch. So we can plug that in now. We know that the entire scroll is 11 and 3 eighths, or whatever your measurement is. Subtract the welding allowance that you created when you started your leaf scroll assembly, and you'll get the forged length needed from the upset corner to the scarf. In this case, it's 9 and 3 quarters. 
Let's plug that in. That leaves the forged height of the bar. Since the bar is a taper, we can take the average of the starting and ending height of the taper and plug that into our calculation as our forged height. An average is calculated by adding together all the measurements or variables and dividing by the number of variables. In this case, we have half an inch at the beginning of the taper and we have 5 sixteenths at the end of the taper. We are going to add those together, divide by 2, and we get 0 0.4065. This is 13 30 seconds, so I'm going to continue to use decimals as we go forward. Fractions are fun, but can be a bit of a bother. We can now plug in the height of the final forged taper and solve the equation for the starting length of LS. To isolate the variable LS, divide both sides of the equation by 0.5. Complete the computation and you get 7.92, which is just under 7 and 15 sixteenths. There's no need to worry about, you know, up to a sixteenth of an inch. So let's round down to the first one eighth amount, and that is seven and seven eighths. This provides the location for the first upset corner. So start with a, a long bar, uh, at least 22 inches. And from the end that will become the scarf, measure seven and seven eighths of an inch and place your center punch mark on the one half inch side. You are now ready to move on to the next series of videos that will go over forging the elements in this video.